All right, guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be talking about the fees paid to agents by Liverpool Football Club. So between February 2023 and February 2024, Liverpool paid agents £31.5 million, making us the fourth highest uh, club in the Premier League uh, to, to, uh, you know, in terms of paying fees to agents. Get this. Chelsea was £75 million they paid out in agents' fees. That's double, more than double uh, what Liverpool paid. So Chelsea, £75 million. Manchester City, £60 million. Manchester United, £34 million. And then Liverpool, £31.5 million. And the article uh, that I just read that was touching on that fact uh, was basically saying that, uh, you know, when... When Liverpool come uh, calling, as well as these other clubs, but when Liverpool looks, it's about Liverpool, uh, the article I was reading, the agents, you know, they opened their eyes, you know, ah, it's Liverpool, we're, we're working for you, Bob, out with this. Chelsea, uh, you know, you, so if, you imagine that, you know, like you're the agent, and you're like, Liverpool, come on, we're making a few Bob out with this then, but oh, does Chelsea are interested as well? So, oh, them fucking mugs, they'll, do you know what I mean? So if you think about it, it's an important thing for us to consider as football supporters, and we never do. Do we? We never think about the agents' fees. I don't. Uh, I know they're, they exist. And Liverpool, uh, you know, they like to do free transfers anyway, don't they? You know what I mean? But there's still agents' fees and stuff in, involved in things. But, you know, Liverpool likes to, to save money. And, and rightly so. That's how you uh, run a business, right? You can't be reckless. Um, but we don't want to get into that in the owners and everything. But what I would say is this, that if you're an agent and... Liverpool want your client and Chelsea want your client, then normally we only look at it from a point of view of the glamour of the two different clubs, like which club do you want to go and play for? You know, is it to do with the, like if it's Manchester City, you know, you're probably going to get more money. Uh, if it's Real Madrid, maybe it's a, a, you know, a prestigious club and nice weather, a nice country. Um, we always look at, we base it, don't we, on maybe area, the success of the club at the time, um, money and all that in terms of salary. But one thing we don't do is think about the influence of the agents. And I guess in some cases we do, especially with Mo Salah, uh, you know, and his agent. Um, you know, we talk about his agent quite a lot with Mo Salah, you know, uh, in terms of what he might recoup, you know, or, or be rewarded with, sorry, if, um, you know, Mo was to go out to Saudi. So you do at those times think about the motivation of agents uh, because of what they can achieve. But if you're an agent and, you know, Liverpool come knocking and Chelsea come knocking, you're probably going to be thinking, like, Fuck, I want to get to Chelsea because I'm going to get a lot more money out of this. Uh, and I just think it's something to consider. So this is something we should consider moving forward is when, we, you know, when we are linked with players or when it does look like we've got a serious interest in a player, you know that I always want, you know, for you, Go and find out about the agent, the representation, to see if we've got a good working relationship or whatnot, if there is history there, because that can make things a little easier. But something we have to look at now is that the clubs that are involved, you know, for example, we don't know, or I don't know at this present time, but I will research this, what kind of money is paid by, you know, the likes of Real Madrid, Barcelona, Juventus, AC Milan, Inter Milan, Dortmund, Bayern, you know, what they're willing to pay out on agency fees. I suspect they'll be a lot lower than the Premier League. Um, but it's, I've never, I've, I can honestly say, and I'm, maybe I'm a bit thick with this, you'll have to let me know. I can honestly say I've never thought to myself, well, it's that agent or that agency, these are the clubs that are interested, they know they're going to get more money out with them. Now, obviously, with a deal like Man City or something, then you're going to think, yeah, well, they're, they're mega books, you know what I mean? So that goes without saying. But ironically, in those statistics, Chelsea... Uh, who have been quite reckless, haven't they, uh, seem to be willing to pay a little bit more. Liverpool you know, tend to have good negotiators, I think. Uh, and I remember a few years back, I don't know if you guys remember, was it, do you know I say a few years back? It could be as far back as 10 years, 6 years, 10 years, I don't know. There was a thing at the time, wasn't there, where we were talking about um, Liverpool will just simply not pay these agency fees uh, to some agents and will let big targets drop away um, because they just won't be, you know, ripped off, so to speak. And I remember there being a bit of a bad vibe, and, you know, because it was a, a really big talking point at the time. You know, fans are saying, well, we should just pay it. You know, you know what we're like, it's fans should fucking pay it. 
you know, uh, and Liverpool were like, no, nah, we're not doing that. We're not going to get ripped off by these agents. So I think it's a little bit interesting that, because obviously, you know, we do think about um, the agent uh, and what they, you know, what rewards they're going to get, the incentives for moving their client. Uh, but I think when it's a, a club that's on par with your own in terms of status and standing, you probably don't really think about it too much. It's probably more about, you know, how successful that club is, the salary, where it's based. Because sometimes, you know, if you if you're rival in a Chelsea club, you know what these some of these wags are like. Well, I want to I want to live in London. You know, we are, uh, Carrius, for example, has just been released by Newcastle. Um, Carrius, his missus, you know, moaning about being in Newcastle, you know, because it's difficult to get to. I want to be in Newcastle, you know. So, you know, if you've got some woman nagging in your ear, or we know that that can influence deals, can it? Some people want to be uh, in London, you know, and it can be just simple things like transfer, um, not transfers, tra travel, you know, like just getting in and out. That's what Carrius' uh, missus was moaning about. It's not necessarily just all about, uh, you know, fancy nightclubs and shopping and all that. Um, but yeah, I think it's. I just thought it was an interesting, interesting thing to consider. Um, so when we're up against other clubs, we only think about their financial might in terms of well, they'll pay more for him, or they can offer him this, that, and the other. But I think we also have to look now and think actually, you know, they'd be willing to spunk a bit more on an agent, and we wouldn't. So I think I don't know. Maybe it's a bit boring to you, but I think it was uh, just something new to consider. So don't mention it. If you appreciate the video, please give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment. If you want to buy me a coffee or a beer, hit the super thanks and give a shout out in tomorrow's morning briefing. Please read the video description, it changes all the time. Um, chat room, news, uh, Facebook group, uh, newsletter. Yeah. All right, guys. Cheers.